Why is Christian persecution in Pakistan an important topic to me? This kind of behavior is a violation of basic human rights and freedoms, including the freedom to worship. Americans need to know what is happening overseas, especially in countries that U.S. dollars support. In Pakistan, Christians are deprived of aid, stuck in the lower class, socially discriminated against, and even violently assaulted or murdered for their faith. Therefore, the U.S. government should establish concrete guidelines for which taxpayer dollars will be approved to aid Pakistan only if radical discrimination and persecution of the Christian minority there is eliminated. Why is this a problem? Well, there are a few major reasons the U.S. sends aid to foreign countries in the first place, which include the advancement of global partnerships, promotion of universal values, and to promote democratic and free societies. But U.S. dollars are not making this happen. The abhorrent behavior of Christian persecution is a problem because these violate the basic human rights U.S. assistance is supposed to encourage. As of today, Christians like Asia Bibi are facing execution. This Pakistani Christian offered a drink of water to her Muslim neighbor and because she is not the required religion in the country, she's considered unclean and will hang. On November 4, 2014, a Christian couple, which was in their second trimester of expecting a baby, was kidnapped by their bosses, beaten unconscious, and burned alive in Pakistan. Their four kids were made to watch. The amount of Christian girls kidnapped annually in Pakistan is about equivalent of our entire senior class being subject to this kind of abuse and murder. Tragically, U.S. money, effort, and time are currently being wasted trying to solve problems in Pakistan such as class division and religious intolerance whose roots run too deep for government dollars to fix. Why is this a passion of mine? I feel sympathy for these people. In America, we have become desensitized to violence, and tolerance is our buzzword. I can't imagine the reality of being discriminated against to the point of death. These people live every day in fear of their lives. Why should we care? Because, as free as we are today, if we are not careful to protect their freedom, we may be next. In my personal life, my family has always placed a strong emphasis on Christianity. Those that are being persecuted, I consider my brothers and sisters in Christ. There are many courses of action that we could take. What did I learn from all of this? One, Pakistan is among the top three countries in the world that receive the most federal aid from America, $3.1 billion to be exact. And currently, the U.S. government has barely any conditions for how Pakistan must spend our money, and they are not enforced. Three, there is no way to ensure that pa payments to Pakistan are received by reputable people. I found in my research C. Christine Fair, author of Pakistan, Can the United States Secure an Insecure State, said it best. Basically, quote, creating effective programs to improve government services is a greater challenge than dispersing money. The capacity and willingness of Pakistan's government to use aid effectively are limited. It is imperative that lawmakers realize the way American aid is being used now is counterproductive to our intentions. It's time to cut Pakistan off. In other words, America can't buy freedom through U.S. dollars, but it can push hard to make Pakistan think twice before committing further atrocities against Christians. While none of my thoughts changed in my research, what surprised me was that Pakistan had agreed to the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights and they voted in favor of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Also, 
The blasphemy laws have been around since the 1980s, which carry death penalties and strict sentences for desecration of the Quran or insulting the Prophet. Thirdly, the sheer number of deaths of Christians in Pakistan. I hope that this information was helpful and that you would join me in supporting persecuted Christians in Pakistan.